in this video I want to show you an alternative way using Google Earth Pro to figure out acreage or area of a particular place on the Earth's surface. In this case we're looking at uh, Water Key. It's an island uh, in the, on the, off the coast of Belize and we want to take a look at how much uh, deforestation of the mangroves has occurred based on this resort looks really nice however they cut a lot of mangroves out in order to make this uh, resort such a nice place so first what we want to do is to check our, our time slider here and we can go back to uh, 2002 and we could even go back to 1969 and what you'll notice here in 1969 is that there are no uh, open areas of um, deforested mangroves along the edge of the coastline of this island. But if you zoom up here to 2012, you'll notice right here where uh, they've started to cut out the trees. And then if we zoom in a little bit, uh, uh, time forward in 2009 and then time forward to um, there it is, 2009, you can see all of this deforestation. And in Google Earth, regular Google Earth, we would have to build triangles and figure the area of each triangle because this is an odd-shaped area. However, in Google Earth Pro, all we have to do is come up here and click on our polygon tool. And we can slide this out of the way. And we'll click here one time and hold. So we click and hold right here on this corner and I'm going to drag a line around here to the deforested area. I'm just following the deforested area with my cursor and cuts across here and it kind of comes back in here a little bit. It follows the coastline. It's kind of hard to see underneath it but we'll just go real slow and we can come right back to where we started and we can come over here and change the opacity to zero and then we can change the line width to something fat that we can see. Let's put line width of four and that gives us the area um, we, the area we're going to select but if uh, we're using Google Earth Pro we have this measurements tool right here so it's, it's right here in the polygon and it tells us how many acres that are in that polygon. So it's 18.7 uh, acres. We can also look at you know square meters, hectares, which is a, a more of a metric international uh, unit of measurement. Um, but in this case, we're going to look at acres, 18.7 uh, acres. So um, that gives us our area, which is much, much faster than what it used to be um, with regular Google Earth. So anyway, um, there's a tutorial on that. Hopefully that helps speed this up for you and uh, talk to you later.